Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Notability to write up all of your applications with your clients. So what you will first want to do is download Notability from the App Store. Once you have it, you'll notice here, this is what the icon looks like with the pencil up here at the top. You want to open it up. Now yours is going to look empty because I've already uploaded all my applications, but you want to start by creating dividers. And you'll notice here on the, on the left, these are dividers. So I've got a divider for applications and a divider for each month of the year where I quit where I put my my folders so I'll, I'll show you here under applications the divider will hold all of the carrier folders so within each folder I've got all of my applications that I need home certainty dignity to solutions easy term I've got my agent guide I've got all the questionnaires that I would need same with UHL so these are all the applications so again this is the folders um, and the applications would be divider. So for July, I create a folder for my client. And then within each folder, I've got the actual app that I wrote. So I can look back and find, uh, find the application that I need. Okay. So to get this set up, you want to start by hitting the plus sign at the top and create divider. And you want to start by creating the Applications Divider. Okay, so name that Applications. Once you do that, then you can create a folder. And you do that by, by Create Subject. So this would be the first one you'd name AMAM or American Amicable. That's going to be the first folder. Okay, then you're going to do that again. Create Subject, and this is going to be UHL. So go ahead and create all of your uh, all of your folders: American Amicable, UHL, Transamerica, LSW, Skip Senior Life. Don't work with them anymore. Uh, Americo, Mutual of Omaha, Gerber. So go ahead and create those. Once you have those created, you want to select the one that you want to start downloading the apps for. So if we start with AMM, you want to make sure that that AMM is highlighted because. When we go find the application, it's going to, by default, automatically put it into whatever folder you have highlighted. Okay, so we're going to close the app, go to Safari, go to sfglife.com, click on Agent Resources, Forms and Links, and it's going to take us to the page that we're already on here. So start by clicking American Amicable Applications, find your state, Select what you want, and you can do multiple. So I'm going to do questionnaires, dignity solutions, and home certainty. Okay, now you've got your under your uh, questionnaires for underwriting. You've got dignity solutions, and you've got home certainty. So you want to choose the one that says applications pack. Hit view print, and it's going to open up the uh, the app. So here's the app. You'll notice at the top, you gotta touch it sometimes for it to appear, but it says open in. You can select open in and select notability, and it's gonna automatically open it. You create folder, okay? And it's gonna put it in the American Amicable folder and open it up. Now it automatically names it something usually that's not ideal. So by re if you wanna rename that, you just hit edit, and then just change the name. So I just put, uh, for mine, just put home certainty so you can just delete it and rename it, okay? So what you want to do is get all of your folders filled with the, with the appropriate uh, uh, application. So let me go through real quick on which ones you're going to want. So home certainty, that's the only one you need there. Dignity solutions, you're going to start with that pack. And then the questionnaires, I would do an arthritis questionnaire, um, possibly a cancer, definitely a diabetes questionnaire, maybe an epilepsy questionnaire, high blood pressure, seizure, asthma, maybe alcohol questionnaire. And go ahead and save those in your uh, American Amicable folder. Okay. Same thing for UHL. Um, 
American Amical is the only one that has that unique place to find the apps. All the rest of them should be under search applications and forms. If you've not already created a username and password, go ahead and do that here. Once you do that, this is what it's going to look like. And you're going to select the company. So you go down to United Home Life and New Business. Um, product type is is a you want to do their term they have a term product and they have a whole life product you want to do both so product name we'll start with the final expense look up and all the ones highlighted are the ones that are going to be included in your app so all you need to do is hit print And it opens up the app again. You'll notice at the top open in. Now I've already got notability, so I can select it. Notice I already had the UHL highlighted. Create. And there it is. Okay, oops, I'm drawing on it. Okay. So I'm going to get all my, and you can you can consult with your mentor on, on all the products you need. Um, I would do American Amicable Home Certainty, Dignity Solutions, and the questionnaires, and Easy Term. For UHL, I would do their term and final expense. Um, for Transamerica, I would do Immediate Solutions, Transcetter LB. That's all you need. Some of these are, are not even around anymore. Um... For Americo, you can do HMS 150 or 125. It's the same product. Uh, for Mutual of Omaha, you've got Express Life, Term Express. And then for Gerber, uh, whatever state you're, you're in. And that should be all you need. Okay, so let's say we want to create a client folder now. Uh, and we want to do an American Amicable Home Certainty. Okay, so you're going to start by hitting the plus. You have to create your divider first for the month. So for me, you know, it's February 2015 right now. So when I hit create subject, it's going to automatically put it at the bottom. And I'm going to name that John Smith. And what I need to do is copy the home certainty by holding it down. It'll say duplicate, and it makes a copy right there. I can then hit edit. If you notice again, I hit edit, select the copy, and I can drag it down into the folder that I want, and hit done. Now I go into John Smith's folder, there's the copy, and I want to rename that. And I usually do the client name dash home certainty. Now I'm done. And now I want to fill out the app. So I select that. And you'll notice at the top the pencil is selected. If you scroll, double click that and you can select the, your thickness of the writing. I always do the third from the smallest. And then down at the bottom you'll see a, a plus with a magnifying glass. And what's going to happen is you can now move this around. So we're going to put it right over the insured's name. And then you can write down here, and I've got my, my uh, pen. You can do whatever styles you want. Then I'm just going to write John D, and then move that. Smith. So I'm going to go through the whole, the whole application, fill out what you need. So notice I'm just dragging this down. Now if you need to move a lot more, you can select the hand and then just scroll it down like that and then select the pencil again, the magnifying glass, and we're going to have him sign. So then he's going to just sign, you know, whatever he 
does. Okay, so that's his signature. Okay, now if he signs in the wrong place, I can take the scissors and I can circle it and move that to wherever the correct position would be if that does happen. Okay, I'll just touch off of it to get to deselect it. Okay, now as far as getting avoided check, what you can do is go down to where the bank draft, again you can sign that, you want to put the, the check here, what you can do is up here at the top, you select that plus here, and you can take a photo. Okay, now you can't see anything because it's on the floor, but you can take a photo and position it right there, so I'm just going to, instead of taking a photo, I'm just going to select one I already have. So here's a check. You can drag it, open it up, make it bigger. You'll notice at the top you can hit edit. And there's a cropping tool right there. And I can crop around the check and hit done at the top. And then I can move the check wherever I want to move it to and just select off of it by tapping anywhere else in the screen. Okay, now that's about it.